This video is about Albert Bandura's social cognitive theory. While his research initially began with the study of aggression and the power of modeling behavior, Bandura has since moved on to focus on self-efficacy and our ability to change based on our perceptions. According to Bandura, if people are persuaded they have what it takes to succeed, they exert more effort and avoid focusing on their doubts when problems arise. The foundation of Bandura's social cognitive theory is reciprocal determinism. Behavior includes the actions we take and the tasks we perform, whether they be positive, negative, or neutral. Personal factors include cognitive, affective, and biological events. It is the how and the why of the equation, while the environment encompasses the who, what, and where of our actions, what is happening around us when we act a certain way, not just the physical location we find ourselves in. The fact that these things are reciprocal in nature means that altering one area has an impact on each of the others. This provides several alternatives for therapies which can target problem behaviors. Strategies can focus on emotions, cognitive process or motivation, increasing behavioral competencies, or altering the environmental conditions which influence us. Prior to his theory, prevailing behavioral thought focused on environment and did not acknowledge the effect that the individual's own cognitive process had on behavior or the extent to which we can alter our environments if we feel empowered to do so. Self-efficacy then becomes a key component to the social cognitive theory. Self-efficacy is a context-specific assessment of our own competence to perform a specific task in a given area. It is an individual judgment of our own capabilities to perform a given action. This differs from self-concept or self-esteem, which are cognitive appraisals integrated across various dimensions and typically involves self-evaluation of self-worth. Self-efficacy reflects four areas of influence. Mastery experience is the most influential factor and comes from engaging in an activity and then interpreting the results. We use this interpretation to develop beliefs about our ability to accomplish similar tasks in the future. Mastery experience has the ability to either improve or diminish self-efficacy. To be of real use, mastery should include some level of difficulty or else we will expect immediate results and be easily discouraged in the future. Vicarious experience is weaker than mastery experience, but important to those who have doubts about their ability to change a behavior or who have limited experience trying to do so. This is where modeling comes into play. Social persuasion occurs when we hear others make comments regarding our behaviors and abilities. This is another factor that influences our belief system. Unfortunately, human nature is such that it is easier to have a detrimental influence with negative comments than it is to have a positive influence with encouraging ones. Physiological states refers to both physical and emotional states. Anxiety, stress, depression, good health, and joy are just a few of the things that can influence the confidence that we have in our abilities. Judgments based on how our bodies respond when contemplating an action clue us into our inner beliefs. Remember that Bandura believes that individuals are both products and producers of their own environments and social systems. Social cognitive theory is centered on the idea that we are agents and have control over our own development and behavior. It seems a simple concept, but anyone who has tried to change an unhealthy behavior knows that it's anything but. For example, smoking is the single largest preventable cause of disease and premature death, Yet, as of 2008, 21% of adults over the age of 18 smoke cigarettes, according to the CDC. Using social cognitive theory to target smoking, we can see how the informers of self-efficacy can be used to target reciprocal determinism. It is important to focus on self-efficacy and encourage people to believe that they have control. Self-observation provides information needed to set realistic goals and help contribute to self-directed change. By studying the environment and personal factors that occur when we display a specific behavior, we can identify areas of influence that can be altered. When using modeling to influence behavior, it is important that we see people we perceive as similar to us accomplish the task. Seeing someone who started smoking last week quit is not as influential as seeing someone who's also struggled for years do it. Social persuasion is not to be confused with platitudes or hokey inspirational phrases. True persuaders must convince others of their relevance then they have to convince others that they too are capable of change. By reducing stress, altering emotional response, and reinterpreting physiological manifestations, we can control how physiological states impact self-efficacy. Now we can seek out therapies that reflect Bandura's concept of reciprocal determinism. Utilizing mastery experience, vicarious experience, social persuasion, and knowledge of physiological states allows us to focus on key areas of change. 
Using behavioral charts or diaries, we can track the details surrounding the habits we seek to alter. By studying the environment and personal factors such as physical and emotional state, we can identify things that we have control over. If you smoke when gambling or drinking, then these environments should be avoided. If the easy access to ashtrays is an issue, then move them. If friends influence you to smoke, then stay away from them. As you refuse to smoke and alter your own behavior, your environment will change accordingly. You may develop friendships with people who dislike smoking, find new activities to engage in that do not support the habit, and find that other behaviors change as well. Ultimately, it boils down to the fact that the more capable you believe yourself to be, the higher goals you will set, and the more committed you will be to achieving and maintaining them.